um, by the name of Sister Rose Nelima, um, the head teacher of Mbale School for the Deaf. Guest of honor, Mbale School for the Deaf is so unique that it is offering a dual curriculum. We have secondary wing from senior one to senior six, and in 2018, we started the vocational component. So we offer 13 courses. Our students sit for DIT, UPTEB, uh, Senior 4, Senior 6. So we are at work. Um, I have traveled, as you have already seen, with the two persons born deaf. They have never heard a word in their lives and no speech. But today, they are able to be the testimonies in Uganda, and there are many of them. The school in total this year, there are 520 students, both in secondary and vocational wing. You've heard them say, if you have the deaf, government has given us a very wonderful infrastructure, the best institution in Eastern Uganda. Students travel all over who are deaf and they are learning there. If you have any child born deaf, hard of hearing, please sacrifice a little coins, transport them to Mbale. I will sacrifice to give them posho and beans, but turn them into better persons of this nation. Um, we also have a sign language interpreter. He has to go at the same rate the way we are speaking. So we don't mind about how is he catching up. He is trained and very smart. So they get every information that we are saying here. Uh, I am glad that today we are witnessing the 440 students from Nyamitanga. We are 13 who implemented the program of KCB together with GIZ. I want in a special way to applaud the principal Nyamitanga for being so parental and mentoring. Personally, I have a secondary background to the level of master's degree. I have a postgraduate diploma in teaching and learning in higher institutions. I have a postgraduate diploma in inclusive deaf education. As the principal said, I think I'm the only head teacher in this country who can sign, communicate fluently with a deaf person. That is not important. What is important in all of this is that guest of honor from colonial times, our education has benched so much to university levels. But I had to beat the odds and embraced vocationalization. Time has come that we must embrace skilling. Gone are the days when we used to think that those who did vocational education, they did not pass English. Today, the world has disapproved us. Just as we used to laugh at the musicians, Musiru Daladar. Today, they are the ones making the world. So I'm calling on the parents that let us encourage the academicians, the government leaders, that let us focus on vocational education. It's the only way to go, to create jobs, to multiply businesses, to turn this country into a better country and for everyone. Uh, personally, what changed me, I read a model of South Korea, skilling a nation. Some of us sometimes talk about skilling the nation, but the approach and implementation has failed. I want to tell the guest of honor and everyone that what KCB and GIZ have done it is the perfect model approach that skilling a nation, skilling Uganda, is going to come up. 
So we want to thank KCB in your special way, the GIZ, for being those model partners to support our nation, Uganda. That today, most of these children who have gone through this program are vulnerable groups. So if today we are talking about 4,000, 500, about there are 600. We give it a multiplier effect. Trust me, these people here are going to come up, almost people attached to them to 60,000 plus. So if these people are going to turn the world, then let us all work hard towards skilling and vocationalization. We want to thank the foundation body of Nyamitanga, the people who are supporting the staff, that you are on the right track. Just give them values. As you give them skills, give them values so that they become better people and citizens of this nation. Uh, guest of honor, Uganda today or Africa is only supported by 30% of people who are hardworking. 70 people are just gossiping. They are lazy, complaining, running up and down. But 30% is what is carrying this nation. Let us identify them and support them to the best. To the graduates, I only want to leave for you three things. That, that today is your day, that know who you are and what you want to be in life, find a way to serve, to give back to the community, always do the right thing, let excellence be your brand,